Hey guys, it's Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button because I talk about property investment, personal development, and how to gain financial freedom. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I stay motivated. There's so many people have asked me this recently in my YouTube channel, Shane Rahim. You are everywhere. You're doing so many stuff. How do you keep motivated? How do you have this energy? So in this video, I'm going to share with you my routine and what keeps me motivated to do what I'm doing right now. But before we get to that, if you've been watching this channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button, the research is for you. We found out 51% of the people that are watching my videos have not hit that subscribe button. If you know you're one of those, I ask you to kindly please hit that subscribe button so you can join this family. You get a notification for when I post videos. And whilst you're there, hit that like button so that this video can be spread out to so many people that could learn from it. So how do I get motivated? How do I get this energy? People think, literally bro, I cannot compete with it. I cannot just keep up with the energy. I got my mentees saying that, the investors I work with say, that's a bro, what is going on? You've got all this energy. I need to get this energy myself. So if you wanna learn how to stay motivated, this video is for you. But the reason why I'm, I'm motivated, my first reason of motivation is setting goals. You see, I've got goals. I have gigantic goals. I have massive goals. Goals that wake me every single morning gets me motivated motivators and pumped up wanting to achieve more and what I did with my goals also is to back that up with a why a massive reason for why I was I'm doing what I'm doing like impacting people positively it's one of my massive give me goosebumps give me energy get me pumped me up to get me to wake up and do so many stuff like seeing people buying properties seeing people renovating properties seeing people making money out of properties seeing people becoming financially free that's what gets me motivated and excited about what i do and also while building my property investment portfolio here's the thing people may be thinking or buying properties setting those goals to buy those properties is what gets me motivated believe it me or not you've got the wrong impression what gets me motivated the most is seeing someone moving into the house I've built or renovated and call that house their home. Okay, that's what brings the joy to me. That's what makes me motivated. That's what gets me to achieve what I set myself to achieve. Because once I've done one, it's like oh, it's like it's like dopamine basically. It keeps more and more and more and more energizing me all the time. So I set gigantic goals and seeing those goals happen literally motivated me a lot more. Number two, I create a routine. You may be thinking, what is that routine? It's boring. I get that. But you have to kind of spice it up a little bit when I wake up in the morning. The first thing I do, wake up in the morning in my bed, I thank my God for allowing me to wake up that morning appreciate him a lot more be grateful for what he's done for me and what he's going to do for me in the future and thank him for allowing me to do what i'm doing now and what i'm going to do in the future Wake up in my bed go to the bathroom have shower bath when i done also i spread my mat and i do my namaz um, i pray to my god as well asking him for forgiveness to guide me to protect me and then put on my track suit, get my gym gears, hit the gym. So I'm, I'm at the gym at 6.30, sometimes 6 in the morning, spending the gym about maybe an hour, maximum to an hour, 30 minutes, get myself on top, recalibrate myself, and then go back home, have shower again, and then get my stuff up, I'm out in the office. So, and again, every couple of hours or so, put my laptop out, be grateful to God, and look at one of the one good thing I've done within that time, appreciate myself that way, and then get me going. So, um, uh, having a routine, it really, really helps you, and uh, because it gets you to structure the way your life is. You get you to structure and plan what you intend to do. So the routine doesn't normally be the same. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I don't feel like going to the gym. I don't go to the gym, but I do wake up in the morning. I wake up very early in the, in the morning. So I haven't changed that part of the routine. And sometimes I wake up um, and then I go to the gym, wanted to do chest session. I don't do chest session. I do um, a tries and buy session, for example, or sometimes I do shoulders, or sometimes I do abs, sometimes I do legs, which I don't like to do. But I change, I'm doing the same routine, but changing the way I'm doing the routines. And the number three thing I do, I celebrate wins. I don't do this often, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I do recognize when I win. I recognize maybe I don't celebrate it that much and I've got people nagging me about that as well. You've got so many stuff you don't celebrate it. Why are you always do not celebrate it a lot? You know, I do celebrate it internally perhaps, 
like just in me but i don't literally like to tell the whole world about it but i do celebrate so it's important for you to celebrate your win because it gives another dopamine to keep you going so recognize what you've achieving celebrating your 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 progress no matter how small they are gets you motivated and get you excited to keep you going so i tend to do that but perhaps that's one of the areas i need to improve a little bit so that then people can also know um uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm getting big wins, okay? The fifth thing I do is seeking inspiration. I look for inspirations everywhere. I don't care what level of business you're doing or what sort of thing you're doing. You could be Affleck's business person. Um, I don't care. I look for inspiration everywhere. I regularly seek out, outside sources to inspire me. I look at Affleck's. I look at entrepreneurs, I look at business people, I look at, I look at influencers. When I go on social media, I'm not going to check people's statuses. I'm not going on to check what people had for dinner today. I go to look for people that can inspire me, people that can really get me to say, wow, I can do this myself. You know, it gets me motivated, it gives me that dopamine to literally get me going. So I look at, I have my, I have podcast channels that I listen to. I have YouTube videos I watch to keep me motivated and inspired. I've got motivational videos videos that I watch, I got inspirational videos. I when I'm at the gym, I'm always got this um inspiration thing going in my in my head, wearing my headphones, literally doing my own thing. That also inspires me. I learn I, I get inspired by by every single thing. When I say negative things, I use it as positive things to literally inspire me. I get inspiration from my from my ch children as well. When they tell me, "Oh, Dad, you're doing amazing, oh, Dad, look at what I've done." So, wow, this boy has done this. This really inspires me. It gets me to be motivated to a lot, 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 lot more things. So, seeking inspiration is really like a drug. It really gets you going all the time especially seeking inspiration from someone who's doing better than you someone who's doing really really well in what you want and you and you literally looking at these people saying wow if this person can do it, i can absolutely smash it that's what gets you to wake up every single morning wanting to do a lot more better number five is staying physically active well i've talked touched on that already i like to do my exercises um, i go to the gym three to four sometimes five times a week um, to get my health to get my head cleared. When I'm in the gym, I get my head cleared and I do my exercises and, and stay fit. Maybe what I want to improve a little bit more maybe is going for running sometimes. I don't do that often. Um, I do it in the treadmill, but not as often. And uh, But yeah, so I stay focused, stay my physical well-being is, is very, very paramount to me. I try to prioritize that no matter what. Hence the reason why I do it six in the morning Get it out of the way before I start my day. So these are the five things I do to stay motivated. If any of this resonate with you, go and smash it and implement it. It would only transform your life in a better, amazing ways. I really hope this video has been helpful. If this video has been helpful, smash the like button below. Subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. I look forward to sharing the next video. Thank you.